Hi guys, and welcome to my Minecraft Automatic Wheat Farm tutorial. Um, it's not fully automatic, but it's automatic in the sense of that it harvests automatically. You'd have to replant the seeds and there's a bloody chicken. Bugger off. Um, on my wheat. Um, this isn't really my design, but nothing's original on Minecraft. But what happens is, um, this lever, um, connected, or lever, depending on how you say it, powers these pistons which keeps water uh, behind the piston. When that lever is released the water brushes down and knocks off all the wheat and then it gets pushed into these little channels which push it down into this hopper here. Hopper is available on the Better Than Wolves mod and then I come and collect all my wheat. Um, got my nice little shelf mod here so I can grab some bone meal and finish off last few pieces of wheat that aren't fully grown um, probably best if I don't walk on the crops as well and I will gonna show you how to make that today um, not gonna worry about bone mealing them all if bone mealing is actually a word which I don't think it is but somebody uh, feel free to make a minecraft air dictionary and make sure you put bone mealing in there okay so here's it in action flick the lever and see all the water pushes all the wheat down let's put this bone meal away and I've got two chests here which obviously will be put for seeds and wheat you do get a few little straggly bits on the end you can just throw them back in. You just have to reseed them, like I said earlier, but it, it's really easy to do. And I, this is my wheat farm, and I'm going to make an exact copy of this over there, where that chicken is, hopefully. And that's what I'm going to use for malt, because um, I also have the beer mod installed. Uh, and I'm also going to teach you how to do it again, flick the lever and the pistons go down stops the water again okay, so for this you're going to need a lot of dirt and I'm going to just going to spawn it in uh, some stone some uh, two four five ten pistons ten water a uh, bit of redstone a couple of redstone repeaters and a lever so, to get started, I'm just going to spoil myself in a load of dirt. You need to make a shape. <laughs> that's that's imaginative, isn't it? A shape. Uh, so it goes one, two, three, four by one, two, three, four, five. So then, just the rectangle, and then the squ the square in the middle should be three by two. Leave a gap, and then do exactly the same. I think I may have gone over this side too much. But never mind. And then you're going to want to raise this up two. And I will try and speed this video up depending on how good my editing skills are. Which aren't very. Um, and on the third layer you're going to want to Cover it up. And you're going to want to do that same for both sides, and it's getting dark. Right, and now they're both done, you can. Uh, it should be three blocks high, then you can extend this out by seven, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and again do that for both sides. Alright, and when you get to the bottom you can go one, two, again right on the floor, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And these bits here are going to be where the crops 
are planted. Right, and now what we're going to want to do is I'm only going to show you one side, the other sides are exactly the same. Um, is we're going to want actually you're going to need quite a lot of water so you can fertilize the well, you know, you know what I mean. Do the thing with the uh, so it goes dark land. So I'm going to want to block the exits off here so the water doesn't flow away. Um, and then go bam, 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 bam. That should hopefully, hopefully fertilize part of that. I'm going to add another one here. So it should go all the way down here. And then I can cover that bit up. But when you're covering up the, the watery bits, uh, be careful that you don't actually destroy the water by placing a block on top. Because um, that would be silly. Obviously, it's probably easier if you did this in stone, actually, so you don't get confused. Which I want to quickly do. Um. And then we need to do it for... This bit here. Oh, bug it. That's what I mean. Be careful um, when doing it over the top. You can do the same in the middle. So, shit, I haven't left a big enough gap, have I? But. Never mind. Um, so again, the the very top square should be one, two, three, four by five. This next one should be seven by five, and the last one should be eight by five. Right. Oh, bug it. And then again, you can fill this with water. Um. Again, fill this middle channel with water bugger off stupid bloody fucking cows <laughs> alright and then cover cover these up obviously um, don't want them getting in the way oh shit Oh, bloody hell. Sorry if this video goes into two parts, but I'm sure it'll be fine. Right, and now if you break a few of these, you can do the same like we did on the other side. And put it directly underneath. You don't have to do this. It still gets a lot of it dark coloured but I tend to just because I do that's what I like to do um, yeah, you can do it on the top one as well the only one you can't do it on is the bottom obviously shit oh, 
screw it that day. That'll teach me to have instant mine on, won't it? If you're doing this legitimately and not cheating, just create a infant water supply by getting two buckets of water doing a 2x2 two two square putting one bucket in one corner and another in a corner directly opposite that okay next thing we want to do is just do the outside make a little edge around the outside so water, when the water flows down from the pistons it doesn't escape because that would be bad very very bad not bad, very, very bad. And that means it won't actually flow in the right direction. Okay, and then... Um, leave, at the end of the last bit of farming land, leave a spot and do another wall. Um, that in the wrong place, but not the end of the world. So you should get a little shape which looks a bit like that. Then you can put another block of water in each of these corners and they should meet directly in the middle and this is actually where all your supplies will be collected. Need to go and finish this ledge on this side though. Right, now comes the not really tricky bit, but slightly hard a bit. Just add a little stone ledge at the end of your farmland. What you want to do is you want to do go up three and then do a little wall across the top here. Um, you may want to extend your stone ledge to two, which I think you have to do this. Yes, you do. I'm just trying to remember how I've done it over there. Then you want to get your pistons and facing upwards um, you want to try and place them so the piston will push down. It can be a right pain in the ass to do but it's worth it. It saves you having to harvest all the bloody wheat. Might be another block there. Right, and then we can do the last five pistons. If, if you need any help or you've got any trouble with this, I do read all my comments. I'll reply to most of them unless I don't feel I have to. I will reply. Then, obviously, you're going to need to leave a spot for the water. Otherwise, it's just not going to stay there. It's going to roll away, and that's not good. This, in your Minecraft world, will probably take about, if you're doing it 100% legit, it'll probably take you about two days to build. I don't know how long it takes to collect the resources. Depends what you've got already at your hands. Right, next thing you want to do is go up to the pistons and place one water bucket at each. Oh, bugger. It's because you meant to have another stone block separating them there and place water on each of the oh bloody hell each of these blocks at the back here so that it pushes so the flow is all going down well to the bottom and then you can see that it should flow all the way down make sure that it doesn't split onto this side Let's use another wall and to, if you want to do a test Throw an item, that's dirt block, watch it flow down and into the groove and to your collection point. Do the same on the other side, obviously. And then you should be done. Not apart from the redstone circuit. It's a really e easy redstone circuit, so if you're not the most 
advanced with redstone, don't panic. It's a really simple redstone circuit. And there's our dirt block from earlier. So, we want a lever. And just stick that on the wall here. And some redstone. And a couple of redstone repeaters. I'm going to use three in mine. Right. So, place a couple of redstone dusts, flick the lever, and then make it go all the way up towards the pistons. Just stick in a repeater here. Stick in another repeater here. That's gone a bit too high. And I'm just going to delete these blocks here because I don't need them anymore and then I'm going to place another row of stone above this water and not so you delete the water so because you, you can't place redstone on pistons so you can power the pistons make sure that all of these are powered and you can see when they are powered that the water isn't there so they can grow Place a repeater in the middle, and again extend the redstone. And obviously then just hoe it like usual, and then when everything's grown, bam, flick your lever, water comes down, harvests it all, and um, collect it all. When it's done, close the lever again, replant your seeds, and then you're done. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, a bit of lag there. I will help you if you get stuck. Um, if you want my world um, to download so you can use it as an example, you may have that. Um, but yeah. Um, oh, as I've just done that now, some of you may be wondering. These blocks here, which are enabled on and off, Again, I'm in the Better Than Walls mod. It's a, it's a great mod. You should give it a go um, if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh, and yeah, comment, rate, subscribe. You can't rate anymore, so like, thumbs up. <laughs> see you guys.